Okay, so from my previous video, I'm create this mug guard. We've now popped this popped this mug guard in place. This was this was grounded, um, but um, we've actually got a broken ground relationship. This is because we haven't got this applied. It's to all all members. So if we click on that option, and I'm going to remove that ground relationship. This ground relationship can cause an error with what we're going to do um, do further on. If this was a normal ground relationship, black wasn't broken. Um, I, it wouldn't matter, but th th this will stop the next command working that we're going to have a look at on there. So if we just double ch double click on that, so now that is so I've, I've deleted the one that's area that's gone black, so we can now carry on with the command that we want. So I've applied it to all members selected. Assembly relationship assistant. So these probably don't look quite like this. It probably looks something like that. So if we turn that option on, so select set one, which select one is the part that we want to constrain. Select two is what we want to constrain it to. I want to remove the grounded part relationships or all part. I, I tend to do this because um, we're just looking at doing a part that we've created in place. And because we've created in place and grounded this part, we need to remove that relationship. We're going to select part one, accept with the right mouse button, select part two, accept again with the right mouse button. Look at the options. By default, we're going to have probably looking like that. So we just turn mate and connect on as well. This probably normally starts over here. So if we drag that over to the middle and then click process. That's going to come up and look for the relationships. So this is saying that it's not going to pick any of these relationships on. So what we can normally do is try changing these, looking at the different kind of relationships that we want. Go back to the settings, remove all relationships. Is this uh, is this going to is this going to fix it? So we're going to do that. We're going to follow this same one again. One, two, uh, accept, accept, process again. So we can see that there's there's something causing causing an, an issue on here. So I'm just going to come out of that and just select the mug guard. We can see that we're always, um, when I when I deselect that and select the guard, we've we've got it's it's this ground relationship. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select that and delete the ground relationship on there, and then go back into the command. Make sure this is still selected on there. Semi relationship assistant. We've got the settings correct. So it's just a matter of going in and selecting these parts again. Now when we click process, we're going to get these relationships because we're in a family of parts. Just be aware. We do get issues like that, so um, this is a little bit more advanced than just just doing that. It's how it's affected with family parts. So once we accept that, we can close, finish, and cancel. And if we just reselect, select, and then click on the mug guard, we're then going to have those relationships that we've got on there. Just be aware that because it's a family of parts, as we click that on and off, these may end up changing. So that's showing that. Um, so because those relationships are there are in red, it's showing that these are actually trying to apply it to a couple of different parts. So this 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 lower has has, has got some different versions. We can see that if we go into a um, a different option on there, so occurrence overrides, we can see there's different versions of that. So we do get little little, little issues if we are doing that. So ideally, we want to go into each version and re um, and reuse that command. Okay. Hopefully that's a little bit helpful. Um, working with creating part assembly relationships and a family of assemblies can get quite complicated. Hopefully that's helped you understand that a little bit.